mind-altering substances inducing vivid visions and deep insights. In other words, psychedelics, the focus of my research project. I'm Joanna Pop, and in this video, I will briefly talk about a new research project exploring the effects of ceremonial psychedelic use. This video will show you what the project is about and what it means to take part in it. Indigenous cultures have been practicing ceremonial use of psychedelics for spiritual and healing purposes for thousands of years. In the last few decades, in Western societies, there's been a huge growth in ceremonial use of plant medicine. And we are also starting to see more interest in psychedelics for mental health and well-being. This is due to a growing body of research that has shown that psychedelics could have powerful therapeutic effects and could be used to treat a range of mental health conditions such as depression, anxiety and PTSD. They can also be used to help people gain greater insight into themselves and the world around them, assisting them in their quest for self-development and growth. We are still learning about the effects of plant medicine ceremonies as they are practiced today in Western countries. Then again, keep in mind that psychedelics are illegal in most countries. So the obvious question is why do people engage in something that exposes them to an illegal substance? And the next question is, with what effects for their behavior and general well-being? So you want to participate in the study. First things first. Who are you? You are taking part in a plant medicine ceremony for the first time and you are recommended by the organizations that collaborate with me in this study. After you get informed about the study and you sign the agreement for participation, the research assistant will contact you. We'll help you set up the smartphone app so that you can send us data and you'll fill out a first series of tests. We'll do this a month before the ceremony. The month before ceremony, using the app, we will send you a few questions at random times during the day. For example, what are you doing and how are you feeling in that moment? While it is important to answer right away, you can also answer later. Just make sure you're responding to what's true for you at that moment. At the end of the day, you'll also get a short survey. We do not do this every day, so don't worry about that. A week before the ceremony, I'll meet you up online and we are going to have a first interview about the ceremony, how you feel about it. This is going to be no longer than 30 minutes. In the first month after the ceremony, data collection will be more intense and you'll get some new tasks on top of the questions you answered before. For instance, you'll get a test after the ceremony and also journal prompts throughout the month. Again, do not worry, we won't get these questions every day. At the end of the month, you will fill out a longer battery of questions and we'll talk again for a longer interview so that you can tell me how your month has been. So why participate? Participants will receive a personalized report based on the data collected through the app as a thank you for taking part. It will give them a good idea of how the ceremony changed their mood, behavior and general well-being. In other words, participating in the study is an opportunity to learn more about one's health while contributing to scientific knowledge. And you will also receive a financial compensation. And a few final words. My hope is that this study will give us important insights into the potential benefits of these ceremonies for mental health. You can help make this hope a reality by participating and supporting this study. Researchers like me will be able to learn more about how psychedelic work through your participation and eventually this knowledge will also contribute to better public health. Thank you.